Leo, welcome to your intimate tarot reading, an energy read that's good for the next several months. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. Now, if you are new to my channel and you'd like to know why I read intimate tarot, specifically sexual energy, it will be outlined for you in the description box down. Yeah? These are technically considered bonus videos, so I'll rotate them about every three months or so. Regardless of whether or not you are used to this reading type or not, I just want you to know if you are someone who does not find value in sexual energy or it's a sensitive topic for you, I don't want you to watch it. Okay, I want you to watch those videos, those messages that you do find value in. Okay, that's the important point. I would never want you to watch anything that made you uncomfortable. All right, that's it. And in which case, no offense taken. I'll see you in a couple of weeks when we resume our regular schedule, which should be the Celtic cross readings. Yeah, and I understand these reading times aren't for everyone. I get it. I do, however, find value in understanding our sexual energy. If it can affect us as individuals, it can affect our relationships. Thus, it stands to reason, yes? And my philosophy is such, the more you know. But that's me, okay? All right, other than that, let's get started. For those of you who have been around the channel, you know what's up. Welcome back. What's going on, please? Show me that Leo sexual energy. Show me that Leo sexual energy, please. Show me that Leo sexual energy. What's going on for Leo? What's going on for Leo, please? We're going to start with the recent past. We're going to briefly touch on it. I don't want to stay there too long. Neither do you. Nine of Wands. Your sexual energy suggests that it's exhausted. Blockage. Frustration. No give. No take. We're still fighting the fight. However, our sexual energy doesn't feel like it's been improved with whomever it is we were connecting to. We could either be resisting that particular sexual energy or you're frustrated trying to bring it together with somebody. It's not smooth. The Nine of Wands is not smooth energy, not in sexual energy. It isn't, okay? Let's see if we've improved the world. Perhaps not. Perhaps we're cycling out. Perhaps we're cycling in too. I don't know. I just know that you're tired of it. Who wouldn't be? Nine of Wands is exhaustion. It's exhaustion for fighting the same fight, okay? We're in that war. The wounded warrior is such because he won't stop fighting the fight. The, the results still stand. It's exhaustion, okay? So the world, sexual frustration. We want to cycle out of this. What's crossing that world? Six of Cups. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Interesting. It's not going to be easy. Especially if you've known this person a long time. We'll see. Surrounding energy justice could be Libra. Their sexual energy towards you, Ace of Swords. Mm. They seem to have some sort of sense of truth and justice in their sexual energy. I don't know what that means to them. That's terribly interesting. Perhaps they feel that their sexual energy towards you is fair. Okay? Or that it's correct for them. I don't know. But it's coming across as it's fair, it's balanced, this is even, this is the way it is, and that's the truth. You know? Ace of Swords is kind of strong for the sexual energy, but not strong as in good. Strong as in, it's kind of cold, harsh, but honest. Their energy is telling me that they're fine with the situation. That it's balanced, it's, it's fair, it's reciprocated. And that's the truth, and they're sticking to it. And it's a little firm. Okay, the next several months, we have the Emperor standing in our power, Four of Pentacles holding on, Five of Wands. We have not completely disconnected from the situation. We're still holding on to it. It's looking like you're trying to impress a point. Um, so it's looking like that world is under evaluation. Again, it's not going to be easy for you to cycle out this energy. Okay, it's under contemplation, as far as I can tell, because your emotions are still very much involved with this person. The Six of Cups is here. That's long-standing energy. Even if it's not a soul bond, honey, not all Six of Cups are soul bonds. It still has the implication of time wrapped into it. You've known this person a long time. You've shared many a cup. You've shared many a memory. And then the Emperor here, standing in our power, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands, we're holding on, and we're still going to continue to fight that fight. So even though you're exhausted and you don't want this to be the case in your sexual energy or your romantic energy or any kind of energy, you're still showing me, I just got to fight this fight. I'm not done with it yet. I'm still holding on to it. Okay. It's inconclusive, in other words. And I also don't see improvement. Your sexual strengths is the lovers. I am sure. I, I am sure. The lovers, that's interesting. 
under your sexual strengths. Giving your all. Giving your all. Being a very generous lover. Being very in tune with your partner. You're willing to give everything, you know. It's beautiful. So obviously, you don't want to fight, you know. Make love, not war, right? Absolutely. Obstacles, eight of cups, walking away. You don't know that you can or that you want to or that you're ready to. I understand. Moving forward, you need to be you. This is not indefinite, okay? This is over the next several months. I'm not saying anything conclusive. Other than the fact that you need to be you. Strength. I don't know that the Emperor is necessarily your gig. We all have to stand in our power from time to time. This is what it is to be human. And you are standing in your power. I don't know that it's paying off for you, though. Four of Pentacles, you're holding on. You're insisting on it. But it's still just as aggressive as it was. Five of Wands, if not more so, in the next several months. Well, that's just not who you are. And I see it. It's not who you are. I think it's what you got used to. Fighting in your sexual energies. The sexual tension. Not giving enough, not receiving what you need. Them saying, it's fair and it's fine and dandy. Everything's fine. I don't know. I'm content. Justice with the Ace of Swords and it's almost cold. Dismissive. A little bit, yeah. If I'm being honest with you, it's a little dismissive. Like, uh, their concerns are not yours. And that's, that's not fair. It's the opposite of justice. It's not fair. Justice wouldn't be here unless it was two things. One, all is well. Two, all is not well. So it's the opposite of justice. I know the person surrounding you says things are fine. Our sexual energy is balanced. It's fair. What are you talking about? Don't fix what ain't broke. It might be right for them. That doesn't mean it's right for you. But this is not going to be some on your downline, in the middle. I got conflicting energies here. Am I in or out? Are we coming or going? Six of cups. I love this person. Yeah? Yeah, you do. You got memories with this person. You're tied to them. You're not going to just give it up, right? Right? Even if it does feel like an empty fight sometimes or a useless fight, you're still going to fight the fight. I know you. You're going to burn out until there's nothing left to burn. That's what fixed fire does. <laughs> I understand. I know we get it. Not everybody does. Mm. Fixed water, fixed fire. Honestly, we're not too far apart. For me, you know, fixed water, Scorpios. You have to be so tapped out of the cups before you finally give up. For you, you have to be so tapped out of the fight before you can finally walk away. And the obstacles is literally eight of cups walking away. Do you? It's under your obstacles. That's how you opened up under your current contemplative sexual energy. Is this over? But I can't just throw the love out. We got memories. Strength. You need to be you. And you need to figure out what that is to Leo. Okay. Let's start to, let's start clarifying, yeah? Some of that nine of wands. Tired, resistance, fighting that good fight. Resisting the sexual energy or the sexual energy is not fluid to you. And I do believe that's the case because they're telling me everything's fair and justified and correct from their point of view. They don't understand what the fuss is. That automatically tells me you're not being heard. And that's what's causing the frustration. Show me that nine of wands, please. This, of course, is the tarot deck, Big Red, of sexual magic, respectively. I call it Big Red. You might recognize it. If you've been around the channel, you know what's up. Show me that Nine of Wands, please. Show me that Nine of Wands. If, by the way, you see a break in your message, that's, that's fine. I have to pick up my daughter at some point from school, in which case your message will resume where we left off. And in which case, I might have a little glass of red by then. Show me that Nine of Wands, please. It's happened, honey. Real person, real terror, also real life. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that Nine of Wands, please. Show me that Nine of Wands, please, in the recent past. Show me that Nine of Wands. 
the Empress they keep popping up, which is good for sexual energy. It is. The Empress is the best. When we have the Page of Swords, there is this, I know what I'm fighting for energy that you have. I am exhausted about what's happening between us, between you and I, but I still remember what we can do, what we have, or what we, we had going. And I felt good in it. I do. I feel good on it. When your sexual energy is on point with this person, you feel good. You feel connected. You are nine of pentacles with the empress. That's fantastic. When you can come together in a way that's fluid and receptive and loving, your energy's on point. It's square. It knows itself. And you're reflecting back on this in your past, knowing how it used to be. This is very, very common. I see this all the time for established couples. This is normal. Um, it, but the thing is, yours has a little bit more of a flavor of intensity towards it. So I can tell that this is a long-standing issue, enough so that we're contemplating cycle ending and walking away, not without a damn good fight, because a big part of your energy has not given up on this, sexually or otherwise, okay? The Empress is the best energy you can possibly have in sexual tarot. It is the best. It is the creme de la creme. This is, I have no inhibitions. Why? Because I love you as a whole person. Okay? I love you as a whole person. You might have some strong areas in your chart. This came up over and over again. I kept hearing that. I want all of you. I want all of you. So if you have strong areas in your chart, you're connecting to Aries, check theirs out. So the Empress is the embodiment of sexual comfort because she's in love. She has unconditional love. She is the life force. She is the life bringer. She's the carer. She's maternal. She wants all to thrive because she's feeling fucking fantastic. And in sexual energy, she wants to give the best of herself without fear, without judgment, because she knows who she's connected to. That's what it is to be in a safe happy, healthy, loving, sexual relationship is that you get the Empress. This is what we want. And the Nine of Pentacles is here too. So you feel good when they feel good, right? It makes you feel strong. It makes you feel individualized, but sometimes it feels, the energy feels a little selfish, right? Because we got two nines here and nine is singular in, uh, energy. So sometimes it feels a little selfish, like, your person is consent, content, but not necessarily you. You can get there, but it's frustrating. Right? When you can get a little bit of your needs met, you do feel good. And it seems to be on the condition that the Empress is, in fact, feeling her best. But for some reason, you have a hard time accessing that energy in a way that's natural. Or it feels easy without constraint. Okay, without judgment or impairment. And it's like, man, I have to work hard to feel good with you sometimes on the physical level. You know, it's like, it, it, it's already coming off a little bit too much on one side. Not enough on yours, okay, and satisfaction on theirs. So it feels like I have to work really hard to make you feel good so I can feel good. It's a little bit like that. And of course, reverse energy says it applies. I know I got somebody in the cross which is already screaming. It's the other way around. It's the other way. I have to struggle. Okay. Reverse energies as it applies. Collective readings being what they are. Take the world's population, divide it by 12. See what I'm saying? So yeah, there's a good chance it's energy reversal. The world, your current sexual energy, in or out. I would like to transform this. Should I cycle out of this? Is it over? Is the sexual life over? Is the love over? Six of Cups is crossing the world. If the sexual energy is this difficult, does that mean the love energy is on its way out? What's going on? Reasonable questions. The world, please. Show me the world, please. Show me the world. Show me the world, please. Oh man, they got a point to make, don't they? They have a point to make. Show me the world, please, for Leo's sexual energy. Oh, they're trying to make... I'm getting to you. I'm getting to you. They don't want to make a point. I'm getting to you. Trust me. I'm going to get to you. Okay, the world, please. There's some the energies just be pushing. <laughs> Seven of Cups, the love energy, the Ten of Cups, it's here. That's the question. That's what you want to know, honey. And it's a reasonable question. And I understand. The Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups. 
you know, is the love still strong? We have doubts, seven of swords, we don't have enough evidence yet. Just because the sexual energy is difficult doesn't mean the love energy is necessarily on the way out. No, it's still here. I know I love this person. I know I do. I know I do. Just because one area is a strain doesn't necessarily mean that it's affecting the love energy. I think seven of swords. You, you have some doubts about this. Show me the Six of Cups, please. And I think it's reasonable that they're not necessarily tied. Just because you understand the sexual energy to be frustrating and sometimes it's a little bit more on the side of their satisfaction as opposed to, say, yours, doesn't necessarily seem the emotionality is completely gone. I know. I understand that's one of the things that's on your mind. And that's why your energy is like... Is it over or not? No, 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 no. Pull it back, Leo. Pull it back. Pull it back. It's not all that. It's not all like that. Just because the, the sexual energy is not where I want it to be doesn't necessarily mean the whole thing's over. And so that's why your energy is like, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Right now you're leaning towards the side of love. Love dictates the basis of my relationship, not the sexual energy. I understand. That's why we're here. That's why we're looking at it. Show me the Six of Cups, please. Show me the Six of Cups. It's like case in point. You know? It's, people will scream in the comments, Christina, sexual energy isn't about the relationship. Yeah. Hence my opening. <laughs> Read the description box. That's why we're here. Some of that six of cups, please. I'll tell you, honey, some people just don't like directions. <laughs> or they really do want to hear what they want to hear. Some of that six of cups, please. All right. To this day, 50 times in my inbox, do you provide private readings? People weren't too big on reading. All right. Sorry. Sorry. That's just my thing. Six of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. We've got the relationship energy and the comfort. We're holding on to it, baby. Okay, look. Here's your Four of Pentacles. It's already on your mid-dead center reading, so that tells me this has a lot of bearance. This has a lot of weight that Four of Pentacles does. This is a repetition in behavior pattern. Okay? Not just with this person, but in previous relationships. You hold on to the relationship because you're holding on to the best of what it offered or what it used to offer. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we continue to progress. That's the Leo I'm looking at. You have a tendency to hold on out of comfort, uh, out of sense of it's established, it's stable. Okay? I understand. So we have the Four of Wands, all right, some sort of relationship energy here. It doesn't necessarily have to be commitment, but it is, says my energy plus your energy equals a relationship. So that's a commitment in its own right, if you understand that you are with somebody, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles here is beautiful energy. I love the King Queen of Pentacles and sexual energy. It says, I know my body. I know what I like to taste, touch, hear, all that. I'm a sensual creature, and I know this about myself. I know how I like to be satisfied. Okay, you know this about the Four of Wands. It's kind of like you're holding on to it out of habit because when they do satisfy you, you're happy because they do know how to touch you. They do know how to love you. They do know how to provide that sexual energy that you do need. And if so a big part of you holding on to this is understanding that this person knows how to meet your needs when they meet them. When they in fact meet your physical sexual needs, honey, you're there. You're there and you're happy. It, it might take a minute. <laughs> Forget this person to be pleased enough to please you. But it is there. And that's one of the things that crosses you. Okay? And it's the conflict you're coming up against. Just because the sexual energy isn't on point doesn't mean that the love doesn't exist. You are starting to doubt that. It does creep up into the back of your mind. But yes, as far as I can tell, the love energy is here. And it's hard. It's hard because I'm looking at a Leo that says, When I feel the physical love with my person, I know that I am loved. You know, so I can see where you would equate those two things. That makes perfect sense to me. If the sexual energy is such a strain, does that mean the emotional energy is a strain too? Exactly. So when it's on and you're connected to that person, it reinforces your holding onto it. And you feel the love again. You can feel the physical energy again. And it feels like, okay, I have been satisfied. I'm back in my comfort zone with my person. Again, the Queen and King of Pentacles is all about the comfort zone, self-care, self-regulation, self-love. You do, in fact, feel loved when you're by your person. The emotional energy comes back when the sexual energy comes back, or it's not so rough. Right? And this is one of the things that stays with you. 
And uh, you kind of have a holding pattern with this, not just with this person, but in previous relationships too, that when you have been satisfied, you're like, okay, I can relax again. I'm reassured that the emotions are still in place. I don't need to be thinking about the world. I don't need to be thinking about the Eight of Cups. All is well. We've been reharmonized. Okay, now, that seems to be what happens with your energy with this person. Let's jump over here to all is well. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> don't rock the boat. I'm satisfied this should be enough for you too. It kind of comes across this way. It a little bit. Yes, it does. I'm sorry. Justice and it literally could be Libra does not have. Show me that um show me that justice energy please. Show me that justice please for this person's their sexual energy towards you is ace of swords. It's kind of firm. Kind of firm, kind of decided. I know myself. This is what I have concluded. This is how I take action. They might be very air-oriented. That's not a knock on air energy. I would never do that. Everybody has pros and they have cons. It's just in the sexual energy, it's not very relaxed. It's not very relaxed, okay? But that's what this person could be presenting on the surface. Show me justice, please. Show me justice, please. The High Priestess, the Lovers, Five of Cups. How odd. Heavy Libra and Gemini energy. Does not have to be. They feel very strongly that they have a solid connection with you. There is some pain in their heart with the Five of Cups. Some love lost here. I don't know why. But they feel intuitively that their sexual energy with you is just right. They have some sadness surrounding their emotionality that suggests regret. I want to know why. Show me that Ace of Swords, please. Their sexual energy towards you. Is that Ace of Swords? They intuitively feel strongly bonded to you. They do. But there's a part of them that shows some sadness. Loss. Loss of the sexual energy, possibly. Okay. That might be why they feel like they give just enough and that all should be satisfied with that. I don't know. Show me the Ace of Swords, please. The sexual energy towards Leo. Sex, excuse me. Sexual energy towards Leo, please. Five of Swords. God dang it. Contradiction. I knew it! I fucking knew it. Knight of Pentacles. They don't know. They don't know. Okay. They don't. They don't know that they're. Ah. Oh. I see. 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 You guys. I don't just read cards. I feel things as they happen. That's what it is to be an intuitive reader. It hits me as it hits you. As it's being presented to me, I feel it. It's the lie. I knew it. It's. It's a lie. But they don't know that it's a lie. They're so con. They, they have such strong conviction. I told you with justice, the ace of swords. I told you how cut and dry that energy is. Sexually speaking, they're telling me, Christina, you go ahead and tell that Leo it's fair and that they shouldn't be complaining. Okay? When they get their side of the sexual energy, Leo's satisfied. They can't say they're not. And that's true because you react in satisfaction when your needs are being met. That is correct. When your needs are being met, you actually are satisfied, and that's why you retain the Four of Pentacles. But did you notice, Leo, did you notice how your Seven of Swords kicked in with your emotions over the world? Does lack of sexual energy or the fact that it's so difficult mean that the emotions are not correct? There's something to that thought. You're not willing to throw the whole thing away, and you're still not in the next several months, and I don't blame you. They have every potential to work through this. You do. And I can see why. You do have love with this person. You have an emotional premise with this person. It is of standing. Possibly upwards to 14 years, 14 months, I don't know, somewhere around that. Let's just put it this way, it's established. Um, and when you are satisfied, you remember how good it feels, you relax, okay, you're like, okay, my needs are met, we can hold on to this. 
And I know I'm looking at a Leo, you've had this behavior pattern before with whatever pre-existing relationships you've had, okay? Your energy calms down. It goes back into a place of being well-received. Their energy, intuitively, they say, I have a strong connection with Leo. Sometimes I'm sad by it. Sometimes I'm disappointed by it, particularly in their love energy towards you. Okay, but they're like, I have a strong connection. I clarify their sexual energy towards you. Ace of Swords, here's the swift truth. Five of Swords, they do lie to themselves about their sexual energy towards you. Saying it's just enough or just right, or that you're receiving your fair share. They know, to some extent, even if it's on the subconscious level, that it's not fair. And it's been like that. Knight of Pentacles. So, their sexual energy towards you can be quite cold and just kind of cutting and possibly even blunt. But they're like, see, I showed up for you. You had to get frustrated first, but then I see your energy relax once your needs are met and then you feel comfortable again in the emotions that all is well. And you can stop thinking about the world. You can stop thinking about Five of Pentacles. You can stop thinking about the Eight of Cups, right? This 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 person's sexual energy, now I don't know that they're a bad person. I don't. What I'm saying is, is that a part of their energy, their mind, lies to themselves about what they give to you and why they do it. How much, to what degree, and what frequency, and the emotionality behind it. It's too calculated for my taste, honey. Sexual energy should be fluid. It doesn't need to be calculated and determined and tallied up. Like, well, okay, we skipped sex last week, so I got to make up for it doing this, that, and the... It's too calculated. That's why I don't like it. It's not natural like it should be. It should be more organic and coming from a place of feeling, okay? It should be natural, as we would call it, the empress. You perceive them as such that when they are satisfied, they give you more. Your energy comes down out of a state of tension. You re-remember your relationship, and then you continue to hold on to it like all is well. Their sexual energy comes across as uh, we have a lover's type energy. Not quite true. That's a half truth with the Five of Cups there. Okay. It's been knocked back by several degrees, but they insist that it's fair. Okay. Now, not everybody is a strong lover's bond. Not everybody is a soul bond. I understand that. But their conviction is such as that, that Leo is my lover. I give them my energy, which is true. But part of their emotion, where it's coming from, is missing. So their sexual energy towards you comes across as calculated and fair, and I take care of your needs. There's a part of them that retracts, and it lies to themselves that all is well. It's not. That would explain your strain and your struggle. When your sexual energy gets frustrated enough, they see that and say, Okay, I need to take care of Leo's needs. Okay. And then it brings you back into a place of serenity, or calm, or comfort, okay? Okay, so I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't like seeing, personally, I've been reading sexual energy a long time. I, I don't like seeing that much sword calculation in what should be a natural process that is felt and comes from the heart, and it's just easy. Playful expressive, sexy, fulfilling, whatever, love-making, I don't care, but just not the sword. I insist our sexual energy is balanced, and I'm not trying to change that. You know, it, it, it comes across as too cutting and too calculating for my taste. I don't like it. It's too sharp. It's way too sharp. It's way too rigid. And it, it thinks way too much. The sexual energy should not be thinking that much when you think so highly of them when you experience them so highly. I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, again, I don't know that they're a bad person, but let me tell you something. Sexual energy should not be that calculating. I keep coming back to that word because that's the only one I can come up with. It feels way too calculating. It doesn't feel natural at all. I don't like it, but they, they, they it is self-deception. They tell themselves they have a strong emotional connection with you. They tell themselves they have a strong sexual bond with you. In reality, their energy says, it's just enough. 
It's just enough because we have such a strong connection, Leo. You don't need to question it. Meanwhile, you're over here being frustrated. Okay? They give you something to work with. Your energy goes back to feeling okay. I don't like that. It's like I'm I'm giving you just enough, and I I honestly believe that. No. No, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like. That's me though. I will say this. I don't personally. I just don't like it when energies humor other people, and it does feel like you're being humored by someone who genuinely believes this is fair. That's the only reason I have a problem with it. Moving on. Sorry, I do get lost in it sometimes. The energy can just hit so hard. Nine of Wands, the combativeness again, pushy offy. It's a strain, it's difficult. Somebody wishes the other person would open up, the other person wishes the other person would shut up in this deck. Yeah. Okay, show me this Emperor, please. You are insisting, however, that you're going to hold on to this. I've already seen you do it, and I understand your reasons why. You're actually, your reasons make perfect sense to me. Um, the only thing I would like you to explore more is why. Why you get uh, doubtful. I'd like you to explore that a little more. The Emperor, please. You know, if it's such a strain, does that mean the emotions are off? Uh, yeah, I would like you to explore that thought a little more. Temperance, I'm not surprised by that. Seven of Wands, that's the thing you want to heal, is the defensiveness and the edginess. You want that, you, and you're kind of standing in your power on it with the Emperor. You're kind of insisting, we can heal, we can heal, we can heal, and you're insisting upon this point. Um, because you do have a loving space that's genuine. I've already seen that for you. It's coming from a heart space. So your sexual energy, standing in your power, using your sexual energy in what you believe is the positive as Emperor, to kind of stand in your power and say, this relationship continues, because I know we can heal it. The thing that we need to heal is that defensiveness, that uh, pushy energy. We want to heal that because I have a good heart space here. Yes, you do. With the Queen of Cups, you have a beautiful heart space here. So I know your intentions are trying to match your heart, which is good. You don't want it to be this way. I know you know something's not quite right or something isn't. Part of you knows what their pattern is like. You do. And it does lead you to believe that all is well and that you are comfortable in the world with this person. Okay, and I can see why you do. And you're also determination to heal it because you don't just give up. I know you. Show me that four of pentacles, please. This is at the very heart of the reading. Of course, and literally the translation here is sexual healing, but coming from a place of love. You insist on this. You can heal this. You can heal the sexual healing. You can heal the heart space with your person. Um, I've seen you do it, and you've likely done this in previous relationships when your needs weren't being met. Okay, so that you held on to it, you worked with it as long as you could. Four of Pentacles, please, is the Ten of Swords. The more you hold on, the more pain it is causing. That is the literal translation. And Two of Cups, because the love is still there. So the more we hold on, okay, the more pain it causes despite the love that's there. So it is hurting your love to continue to hold on in this way, at least in this pattern. I don't know that holding on to this person is the problem so much as holding on to the pattern. That when you become so frustrated and so edgy that they finally give you something to ease your tension, you remember the love. That's the problem. That's the pattern we're looking at. That's the real problem. The more you continue on in this pattern, the more it's going to cause you pain and then thus affect your heart space for this person. I understand your reasons, Leo. I do. I really do. I see it. You have a lovely sense of power and direction. And it's all coming from a good space in you. It's not just your sex. It's your emotions, too. They're all here. But I insist, the more you hold on to this behavior pattern, the more it's going to hurt you. I don't think they necessarily understand what's going on. The Five of Swords typically means we don't know that we're doing it, but they have such a strength of conviction around their sexual energy with the Ace of Swords that all is well and fair, okay? That Leo and I, we're equals. We are both equally happy with our sexual energy, with our physical expression. Then why do you have to get so worked up before you get attention? That's my problem. 
Why do you have to be so on edge before this person says, oh, I better give Leo some attention? Then what happens? The pressure in the pressure cooker comes down, right? They release the valve. The steam comes off. You go back to a queen of pentacles, four of wands, and the four of pentacles. Like, ah, okay. This relationship feels good again. I can feel my feelings again. Okay, okay. So I know for a fact I'm looking at a Leo who says my sexual energy and my emotional energies are one and the same. If I don't have one, I can't feel the other. And when I start to doubt one, I start to doubt the other. All right, and it's when you start to doubt those feelings that this person does what they do. They give you something to take away that edge and you're like, okay, I'm comfortable again. That's the pattern that you're holding on to, at least in reaction to this person that is causing the problem. It's reinforcing the pain. Okay, but the Two of Cups is there. I know you love this person. I told you. I already looked at Leo. This is one and the same for you. Your sexual energy and your love energy for this Leo is one and the same. It is one and the same. They're twins. <laughs> okay, your, your sexual energy and your emotional energy are side by side like this. In fact, they're more like this. They're intertwined. Okay, that's the Leo I'm looking at. They're so closely intertwined. The Five of Wands, the sexual tension, the frustration. Yes, it's here. It's been here. That's how you opened up. And I saw it right away that somebody that you have such a high regard for, you're lucky to feel half as good when they give you some affection, when they give you that love, when they give you the sexual energy. You're lucky to feel half as good. So again, I just want you to see that because the contrast is unreal. Frustrated versus... <laughs> We're exactly the same. I'm satisfied, they're satisfied. They should have no complaints. There's lack of conviction in that truth. It's not fair, but I don't think they know that. I really do believe they think that this is fair. And it comes from a sadness within them, that Five of Cups. This connection that they say is so strong and is on point and is fair, they don't actually believe that. They don't. There's something that this person's emotionality is coming from a not correct space, and it's like they don't want to deal with that part. So they tell themselves what they tell themselves when it comes to you. Five of Wands, we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, we got the Chariot here. The... I, I know, I got relationship energy here. Oh, goodness me, very strong. Things, there has been an uncomfortable foundation here. There is a foundation here. It's not necessarily the most cohesive. It's been going on in this way for some time. Seven of Pentacles, this is a slow going thing. There's tension here within the foundation. This is a long-standing sexual kind of energy tension between you and your person. That's why it's not disappearing overnight. It's not. Um, it's not easing up overnight. I see your determination to approach this and heal it from the best possible point of view that is your heart space. I know your intentions are on point, honey. I see it. I do. You're telling me you're still very much in love with this person that you still have a strong sense of regard for the foundation even if it feels a little shaky on its bones and this is a long-standing pattern between you and your person okay again it's like I'm gonna keep on that's that's all you're telling me for the next several months okay but I have to insist the Leo I'm looking at the more you hold on to this pattern the more in fact it reinforces your pain it's like it provides you temporary relief it does the sexual energy, when you are appeased and you are given that affection, which should be natural and given of one's own accord and good feeling. Okay. When that's finally given to you, your energy backs off, it calms down, and it feels comfortable again. And it's that very thing that is causing you more pain, is to hold on to that pattern. And in other words, you're telling me it's acceptable. It's been like this, but I'm still very much in love with my person, Christina. And you are. I've seen your heart space several times. 
I've seen your heart space several times. You're telling me you're still very much in love with this, this person. And it, it may not be the most fruitful of foundations. It might have a lot of tension in it, sexually or otherwise. Uh, but you're still very much in love with it. That's why you continue to stand up for it. That's why you continue to fight for it. Um, it's not like you're really fighting for it, but so much as that you often find yourself fighting for affection that should be given to you a little bit more naturally, a little more easily. But as long as you continue to accept this person's behavior pattern, the more it's going to reinforce the pain. But no, I don't see an ending. There's the potential here. But it hasn't happened. You're telling me you're still very much in love with this, this person and the foundation that you have, even if it's shaky, sometimes chaotic or stagnant. Okay, just please know, if you continue to accept this person's behavior pattern without insisting on change or them to see their own stuff, it's going to stay this way. There needs to be a little more confrontation here. I know you don't want to blow things up. I've seen you avoid that too. I know you don't want to blow things up. <clears throat> so you have to figure out what is acceptable to you and being able to communicate it. Now, if you really do feel like this person's completely shut off and their energy does, I understand, I feel it. It does come across a little bit as non-negotiable. I need you to find more of your value in this. What is non-negotiable to them doesn't necessarily mean it's non-negotiable to you. So by all means, stand in your power and insist upon healing, and I can show them the best of my heart because I'm still in love with them. But I want you to stand up for yourself, too. Okay? That's all. The lovers, we're going to switch. Show me is in your sexual strengths. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you are willing to give your all to this person whom you say is an empress, and that's beautiful. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers, please, and Leo's sexual energy, sexual strength. Show me. They have... Their energy tells me that, yes, they recognize you as their person. The conviction's not where I want it to be on the emotional level. But mentally, oh, Lily is my person. Mentally, yes. They're there. The emotional conviction's not where I want it. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not. And then they back it up with how they approach you sexually, or your physical needs, or your affection. Show me the lovers, please. Their interpretation of the lovers is a little different, I believe, than yours. Show me the lovers, please. Leo's sexual energy. Seven of Wands. Oh. You're not allowed to do what you do best. Do you see why I have a problem with this? That which you feel, which is beautiful, gorgeous, is what you're not allowed to express. They're telling me they don't need that. Therefore, you shouldn't need it either. Not that much. Not that much. They're happy or satisfied with a certain level, but it comes from a bad place. How you two interpret the lover's energy is completely different. The thing that you are best at, giving your person your all. The lover's is a multi-layered bonding system. It is not just sexual. It is emotional. It is mental. And it is spiritual. Where is the spirituality in this? You're telling me that when you sexually connect with your person, you are in there 100%. You are there with them mentally, 
You were there with him emotionally. You were there with him spiritually. I already told you I'm looking at Leo like these are the same for you. They're intertwined. When one is affected, so too is the other. Your energy has been consistent in this respect. The thing for which you would give them the most satisfaction, the best of you, is what you're not allowed to show the least. That same frustration with the Seven of Wands is showing up under your strengths again. That which you are blocked from over and over again, showing that side of yourself. Your love is here. I know you show them your love, honey. I know you do. I know you do. That's not a question for me. You're not allowed to show your love physically in a way that's fluid or natural to you. It's constantly blocked. The best of you is constantly blocked. That's my problem. It's like they don't want that part of you. Or they, they cut it down, or they prohibit it, or they try to box it, because maybe they're not comfortable with it. I don't know. But you two have very different ideas of sexual connectivity. Very different. Theirs comes from, it's just enough. It's calculated, I've already thought about it, this is what I've concluded. It doesn't feel organic at all. It feels quite contrived, if I'm being honest with you. But part of that's the Five of Swords. You're still very much in love with this situation. You are still very much in love with this person, and all you want to do is show that to them. But it's like you can't get permission or enough permission. Oh, the Seven of Wands is still there. Oh, my God. That what you want to express the most is blocked. Otherwise, your sexual strengths are fucking gorgeous. So, oh my god. You just want to bond with your lover, your empress, in every conceivable way. That's all you want to do. The fire signs are putting me through it. The fire signs are fucking putting me through it this week, man. Oh my god. And it just breaks my heart, honey, because you're so in love with this person. You're still... And that's why... That's why when the physical energy is off, you think maybe the emotional energy is off. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You have a very healthy perspective of sex and love. I know you do. It's very healthy. And it just wants to express itself. <sighs> I can tell that when you are appeased, you are appeased. And then you hold on. Because you do feel satisfied to some extent. But it's only when your energy gets so twisted up and frustrated. Eight of Cups is in the obstacles walking away from this, or emotionally detaching, I should say, because that will, of course, be your biggest obstacle by far. Because you're very much in love with this. You still are. And it, it kills me, honey. It kills a part of my heart to see this. It really does. It hurts me to look at this. You're so in love with this the person. And that's what it's like. It's... You holding on to this is hurting the love. It's hurting your love for the situation, I believe. I they Bless you. You're showing me healing because it's coming from a good place. Your heart space healing, your sexual healing, all of it. You want to. You want to, but it's constantly blocked. A part of you is used to it. A part of you is still in love with the situation. Part of you is still in love with this person. You just want the best for it. You want the best for the both of you. They're insisting that's already in place. And it's kind of cold. I don't like it. Some of the Eight of Cups, please. The Obstacles, please. Somebody here is emotionally detached. Overcoming emotional detachment, yes. I agree. I'm so sick of saying that nine of wands. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sorry, honey. You can go ahead and call me an emotional reader, and that's because I am. Okay? I don't just read cards. I feel things as they hit the table. Sometimes the energy is just way too raw and way too honest, even for me. Nine of Wands. 
Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. We're not going to ever really walk away fully, Leo, until we come to terms with the fact that we are exhausted playing this game. And love shouldn't be a game. Sex shouldn't be a game. We should not be keeping tallies about when we last had sex or gave somebody a blowjob. That way we know when we're obligated to do it again. You see what I'm saying? That's how it's coming across. That's how it's coming across. Yes, calculations. It is calculations. Uh, it, 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 we're not going to know how emotionally detached we are. You or them, I believe it's them, because they've already shown me disappointment in their love energy, and they've already shown me five swords. The obstacles here is emotional detachment, and so long as we continue to resist the truth, we're going to continue to deceive ourselves about the situation. Strength. Your immediate future, what to expect. I need you to be you. I need Leo to be Leo. I need... Fucking amen. It's right there on the split. Holding back. You holding back. You holding back from you being you. You speaking for yourself. Standing up for yourself and saying, you know what? I'm going to call a spade a spade. It is not fair. I love you. I'm still in love with you, but I'm not getting that from you. I'm not getting that from you. Where's the proof? Right? I'm proving to you all the time. And you are. This insistence that everything is fair when it's not you accepting it like it's normal. I don't know. Show me strength, please. Queen of Wands. That's you. Knight of Wands. Holy shit. Devil. Mm. I don't know if again if you're connecting the Sag. Doesn't have to be. Capricorn energy here. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the strength. <sighs> Some of you really do feel enslaved to this person's energy, their sexual energy specifically, or strength. I think what we have here is a failure to communicate. It's easy to feel like we're addicted to someone else's fire when they give it so sparingly. You feel a great deal or you tell yourself you still have a great deal of passion for this person, do you? Or did you just become a slave to the idea of their passion because they give it to you so infrequently? Do you know what pe keeps people hanging on over and over again? Is when you don't quite know how the other person feels and you keep trying. And you keep trying, and you keep trying, and you keep trying, because you keep trying to clarify how the other person feels, so you run around like a chicken with his head cut off, hoping one day they'll enlighten you. I think, you think, you have such a strong love and passion for this person that you're willing to put up with anything. That's self-deception, first of all. Second, I think what they give to you is so sparse, sparse, and so sparingly integrated into your relationship that you have become addicted to what they do give you. This is not the best use of your fire. Your fire should not be like that at all. I was quite happy to see the coin of wands pop out on the strength. I was like, oh, they, Leo's feeling like Leo. I like that. I dig it. Then your knight of wands, I'm like, holy shit, feeling even better. <laughs> Leo's sexual energy perked up, dusting itself off, and might be heading off in a new direction. Okay, that's a bit of a jump ship type situation, but 
Okay, let's pull one more, devil. You do have love for this person. I've seen it many times. I don't see the strength and conviction of their feelings half as much as yours. Okay. They tell themselves they give you enough, all is well, don't question it, it's fair. And they do keep a kind of tally. It feels a little bit too, um, well, contrived, as I said. It's like you feel like you're a helpless slave to your own passion. I don't think that's it. I think you got so used to this person appeasing your energy that you associate it with relief. Finally, you have relief. And when you get it, it feels resplendent. And you can remember your feelings and the foundation and how long you two have been together. Your sexual energy goes through peaks of being incredibly frustrated. Then it comes down. Then it goes back up again. Then it comes down. But it never goes so high that it swings you on the other side. Do you think that's a coincidence? I think you think uh, that this is really worth the fight and the struggle because the rewards are oh so glorious, right? Is it could be, honey, a saltine cracker is going to taste like a gourmet meal when you haven't eaten for three days. You get what I'm saying? When what you would give them is so beautiful and the best parts of you is what's welcome the least. I know you're saying I can't live without this person. My heart is with this person. My lust is with this person. My best of myself is with this person. Is it? Or did you get used to surviving on saltine crackers? Your fire should not be in the negative like that. Not at all. I don't like it. That's, that's a hell of an obstacle. Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, there again for the third time. Five of Swords. Somebody needs to stop lying to themselves and fighting off the truth that somebody's emotionally detached. So no, in the immediate future, no, I don't. I still see you very much enchanted with this person's energy. It looks like a very strong, odd sort of push-pull dynamic. Um, to your credit, though, you do love them. Told yourself you can't live without them. You can put up with anything. But we're not allowing ourselves to see the truth of what this person's really experiencing in terms of their emo We're I've seen your heart space multiple times. A dozen times over. Where's theirs? Oh, yeah. It's the Five of Cups over here. With the lovers. With a sexual energy towards you that's quite cold. A little manipulative. Five of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. It's been this way. It's a little too calculating for me. We're lying to ourselves, Leo. That's why there's no room for improvement here. While well, you do your best, you do more than your best. I, I, I just, I feel like too much of your time is fighting for scraps. They're scraps. And you hold them in such high regard and you would show them so much love and the best of you and it's what's welcome the least. Do you really feel spiritually bonded to this person or did you just get really used to this dynamic? Like you've been in the desert, okay, and you get a cup of water that's so good you're like, I'm going to marry that cup of water.
You know what I mean? I'm going to stay married to that cup of water because every now and again they let me take a drink and every now and again they feed me a cracker. I'm sorry. God dang it, Leo. I just want to see something else for you. Anything else where your energy is not constantly being taken for granted and you're not constantly burning out on both ends for somebody. And I'm preaching to the choir. I can be just as easily accused of that. I understand where it comes from, no. That fixed energy is no joke. It's no joke. I know your dedication, honey. I know it. I see it. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. You are refraining from being you. This is not who you are. This is not who you are. You are refraining from being you. Four of Pentacles now here three times. It's like... To be myself, I'd have to let this go, and Christina, that will hurt me. What do you think this is doing? Is this connection helping Leo be the best possible Leo? Because by all rights, you've already shown me the Ten of Swords with the Four of Pentacles already. Or did we forget? This is why I use so many decks repeating energies right here. The more you refrain from being you, the more it's going to hurt. I'm not saying you have to break up with this person. I'm not saying you have to divorce. What I'm saying is you need to stand up for yourself in some way that says, I see this situation for what it is, and I am bringing it to the forefront so you can see it too. You keep telling me everything is fair. It's not. How come you only show me love and affection when I get so fucking stressed out? Everything goes back to normal, and then I go around running around after you, chasing your needs because I'm still in love with you and you know it. Oh yeah, I get very caught up in the readings, I know. I'm an intense reader. Please do keep in mind I feel things as they hit the table. Real terror, real life. And I have a very strong respect for the real. I guess people, I see people get caught up in, excuse me, difficult dynamics all the time. This is one of them. I don't doubt your love for this person. But this whole I'm grateful for the passion and energy I do get, and I still have all that strong feelings for them. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? So no, this is not indefinite. This is just what I'm saying for the next several months. This over-the-top battle between... It's not even a battle, really. It's more like... If you allowed yourself to understand the truth of this situation, you could better confront them because they're determined to see things in one point of view. Um, it works for them, and they say it works for you too. That is the opposite of that. It is the opposite. It's, oh, what a mess. Oh, it's the opposite of that. Outstanding time frame, please. Outstanding time. Eight of Pentacles. August might have been terribly important for some of you in regards to this relationship. There might have been some significant energy exchange around, again, August, Virgo season. Let's just call it Virgo season. Uh, justice, there it is again. More Libra energy. Upcoming. Mm, do be careful. Do be careful. That same Five of Swords is underlying. I don't like that. There'll be some more of this difficult tension energy. Libra season, which, yeah, we are now in, I believe. Weeks for some of you. Devil, there it is again. Been going back to the same conviction. It's just repeating at this point. 
you they're treating you a certain way, telling you all is well and it's non-negotiable, you having to put up with it, get reestablished in your comfort zone, saying this is it, I gotta hold on to it. I understand you're in love with this person, I know that. But I want you to look at your motivation as to why. Nobody will ever work so hard for somebody else's love and affection as when the other person acts like they don't care. Or that they could care less. Or that they're withdrawn. Because then we're constantly looking for validation that our energy means something to them. You know what I mean? It really does feel like you're seeking this person's validation because they're so withholding. And so cut and dry. <sighs> there will be talk of change at the Wheel of Fortune. Can I see one, please? There will be talk of change for some of you. The seventh, seven weeks, seven days, seven months, possibly, but no later than next cancer season. This was not going to be an overnight thing. It took you a long time to get into this. And if you really want change with your person, because you are truly in love with them, and I do believe that you are, despite the foundation issues and the sexual tension and, and the, the misgivings and the untruths, and there's a lot of untruths here. We'll see more improvement maybe by next cancer season. For some of you, the 27th is important. The 7th, like I said. Dang it. Yeah, 7 keeps coming up. July, for some reason, is important. Could be that you are dealing with cancer. Um, in the general sense, I would say 7, seven days, 7 weeks, 7 months. There will be talk of change. For some of you, yes. Okay. The snake. Competition. Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder. The contemplation energy. Mm -hmm. Wedding rings. No shit. I couldn't tell. Again, some sort of commitment energy, relationship energy here. It, it feels like... I know. K's on a ring. It feels like you're being strung along, even though you two are technically in some sort of commitment. Some of you just have this... Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, soulmates. For some of you, there is hope elsewhere in terms of a love energy. But it's like, it feels like they treat you like a key on a ring. Like you have options elsewhere, or they have options elsewhere, or that they're disconnected. The phoenix rising from the ashes, transformation. In time. Yes. There could be a new Cupid Zero. It's incoming love energy, not exiting. Keep a zero. Okay. With potentially a proper soulmate. Um, but this is a little too convoluted. I can't see more at this time. We'll check up on you. Intimate terror. The next round of intimate terror. Excuse me. Not neat. Thank you. Case in fucking point. Not enough. Frustrated in the relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. Ego. Issues. Jealousy. Okay. It's, it, no, you're not receiving enough. But for some of you, the reasons why you're staying is a reflection of the lack of confidence and just frustration and the constant sense of, I'll be rewarded any day, I'll be rewarded any day. Honey, if you were really being rewarded, you would allow yourself or be able to express yourself as the lovers instead of someone whose efforts are just continuously blocked. Okay? Love energy, sexual energy should not be distributed in a point system or reward system. It should just be given freely, because that's what two people feel. That's it. No need to keep a tally or a score of sexual encounters or otherwise. It's That's enough. I've had enough. <sighs> like always, Leo, honey, I want more for you. I want to see better for you. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing. 
I will not see more change until the collective chooses to make change. That's how energy readings work. I can't read what isn't there. You want different, you want new, you want to be someone new, then I need to see your energy reflect that. If you want to keep this person, it needs to be more than you that's advocating change and healing. They need to be too. So that means confrontation. Getting out of the Five of Swords, etc. Someone's emotional dissonance, dealing with that, being upfront about it. No, not all is lost. So long as there's love, it's not ever lost. We do another round of Intimate Tarot around Capricorn season. So around, let's just call it January, okay? Next round of general readings in a couple of weeks for you. Hopefully I'll see something different for you there. I would really like to. Like I told Libra, I believe it's like one day I'll catch you. When you stop looking at yourself so hard, when you stop being so damn self-conscious of your energy, when you stop overthinking your connections and your feelings in those connections, then I will see something for you that's honest and it moves forward because it wants to. All right, honey. You put in the comments as you see fit, and one day, Leo, I'm going to catch you. I'll catch you. One day, when you're not looking at yourself so hard and your feelings and your frustrations, I'll catch the Leo in there that wants to come out and move forward and in the best ways. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.